Well, hello there, humans of these other things, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushka, and this is a bit of a chat about the 4202, one of my very favorite tanks in the whole of Blitz. Uh, and I want to talk about the build I run with this tank and why it's so controversial changing this tank yet again, which is what's going to be happening apparently in update 10.3, or at least that's what I've seen and all the dirty little leaked messages and such that are running around the place hat in hand. The 4202 build that I run is something that I like to call the Heshgasm build. Uh, after my mate Stinky Fruit Rollups, who used to just say that all the time in my live stream chats. And it's a build that is focused completely around your premium Hesh ammunition or your, you know, not so premium Hesh ammunition if you're going to use it on things like Leos and the sides of lightly armoured vehicles. And the new FV4202 is going to be... Enemy armor is hit. And I just want to take a second here too, because you can see this thing is super effective. Like, I'm hitting tank after tank for an excess of 400 damage here. I am absolutely dumpster firing heavy tanks in their flanks and sides. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm running this build here where I actually have all the combat power switched to the right hand side. So you've got 231 millimeters of premium Hesh pen, as well as a 0.277 dispersion gun and a 30% supercharged uh, shell velocity. And that's important. Shell velocity is one of the most, if not the most criminally underrated stats in Blitz. And if you're going to play a gun that needs flank shots in a medium tank, then you need to be able to take shots at extreme range and still hit nearly 500 in the backs and size of these heavy tanks. And 477, 473, like, that's a thousand damage in two shots. <laughs> Gets to tier 10 heavy tank and he's just like, what the hell? And if you want to see remorse, try driving a TVP versus a Heshgasm build when it's uh, it knows that you're out of ammo and just how quickly you get absolutely returned to the uh, garage. It's a hell of a thing to be doing. Now, obviously, you give up a lot for this. And in the next update, you're actually going to give up a lot more for this. The, the update is going to remove some DPM. Now, this gun has already been nerfed. Oh, what about this, Hori? It's going to make a final last stand back here and maybe not so much, buddy. Hey! That's got to be in an intro. Uh, it's it's always been a balancing act for this tank that Wargaming have struggled with. In fact, it's not just Mobile Blitz that has struggled with this. World of Tanks PC ended up throwing its hands in the air and just making the 4202 a tier 8 premium and nerfing the hell out of it and giving everyone that had a 4202 a Centurion Action X at tier 10 instead as the tier 10 British medium. Because it was just too difficult to balance this tank and keep it in line with the rest of the game. The problem you have with a 4202 is that good players who have experienced using the tank and run primarily just pocket wallet burning premium hash just do massive wads of damage against some of these tanks that they're trying to encourage people to run and when you start making trades with people where you're doing 400 to 500 and they're not getting to shoot you back that can be very frustrating and you just wait and then you go out and you hit them with another round that's bigger than most T10 heavy tanks have. And this is what I love about the tank. In the next update, they're really removing a little bit of that DPM and they're nerfing the cheap hash penetration, uh, apparently down to something around 65 millimeters. Now, it's obviously not dropped and things could change and you never know what's up and what's down in this world. But I feel like eventually you've got to stop juggling this tank. 
it was a tank. I mean, I love this thing. I really love it. Look how the, the team has lost its mind. Don't worry. i got lots of ducks in chat after this one. I mean, everyone's dead, and I've done 2.5k with 2k blocked and capped the medium flank and won the medium flank and 478, okay? And then... 481. <laughs> Just AP to finish him. Thanks very much. This was a tank which had no turret armor. And it did 40 kilometers an hour as a top speed. And it had really poor DPM in comparison to other T10 mediums. And very poor mobility. And then they've just buffed it. And then they've fiddled with it. And they've buffed it. And they've removed the hash. And then they put in two guns. And then they buffed the turret armor out the wing wang. And the Yazoo. And... It's always had the best upper glacis. Like, you've seen me bounce a lot of shots there. That's not an accident, okay? This tank will bounce a lot of shots when you get the upper glacis angled really savagely because it has always had one of the strongest upper glacises in World of Tanks Blitz for a medium tank. Like, just crazy strong. Go and look at it in Armour Inspector. It's absolutely nuts. Is the next patch going to do anything to the the tank well i think it may and this is going to sound crazy it may actually improve the tank because the rumor is that they're going to upgrade sheep hesh's alpha damage from 440 to 500 on average and that's a big bump despite the fact that it is losing a whole bunch of penetration but if you run the sheep hesh Heshgasm build and get good penetration on your armor and you get good uh, shell velocity and all those kind of things there will still be a lot of targets out there that you can get to flanks and back doors and punish and I I think the rumored aim time buff as well is going to make this a very interesting tank and I'm not actually sold on the idea that the FE4202 is going to become an also-ran, which is something that I've seen quoted all over the place. In my opinion, if you're good at selecting different ammo types, this just makes it a little more fun to play. You're going to have real variants. You're going to have an ammo type that does more damage, but less penetration in your cheap hash, which is how it should have always been, let's be honest. A premium ammo type that costs more, does slightly less damage, but has extraordinarily large amounts of penetration in comparison. And then your AP, which is your jack of all trades ammo, which also gets normalization against uh, all kinds of different targets. I'm quite intrigued, and I'm really looking forward to this update, this, this new update that everyone keeps yammering on about. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what it does to the Heshgasm build the pure right side what i was talking about before with the bullet velocity dispersion is one way of measuring accuracy another way of measuring accuracy is how far you have to lead targets having insane shell velocity of 1500 meters per second and more means you don't have to lead targets at all and you can use the auto aim feature and using the auto aim feature Center mass kind of auto aim feature is really, really important if you're going to be running these kind of fast moving mediums. Look at this poor guy. Like, this is a heavy tank. It's a heavy tank. 394. I mean, he's tried to get around that corner and I'm just spanking his lower glacis. 496. <laughs> it's just. You gotta be thinking. It's a, it's a medium? Really? It's just. Uh, I'll leave you with this. How about this? Nerf something. Watch this. This is how you finish out hard in an FE4202, boys and girls. Look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield. Don't forget to like the videos and subscribe. Share them if you think they're worth having a chat about and sharing. And if you have any ideas on what type of videos you'd like to see, leave a comment below. Uh, ammo rack hit. Ammo rack hit again. Thanks very much. See you soon.